important that the basic moral, moral disestablishment. He had to be in love with all the elements he used. There was no cutting, no taking out. The film had to be cut to the music, not the other way around. He wanted to end this film on a lyrical note. Not just to be lyrical, but to, be, to show what it is. How are we really like? We are not like the people we have seen in the film. We are like the people we see at the end. These French soldiers who completely collapse and this girl sings a song. Goodness me, yeah, that, that, that's, that's who how we are. Called me. I lived in Zurich at that moment, and he called me and said, "I'm at a scope. I'm looking for something that's really gigantic and comes to an end. Because the more I like it, it's impossible then to to cut it or to fade out. You don't do that." Yeah. So I came with a stack of LPs, and the needle dropped. That's that's what he that's his term, needle dropping. And uh, well, we came to uh, thus both Zarathustra. Because the film 2001 takes a big bow to the unknown creator of the universe. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, he was not a religious man, man but, but he, was, he was above religion in that respect. He very much respected the miracles of life. He had to love it. Yeah. And I can't, I can't, this term is so overused, but in this case, I can't find a better term. He had to be in love with all the elements he used. This uh, North uh, score he had, yeah. Alex North, it was perfectly fine. But yeah, it just didn't, didn't work with him. And then he discovered the Blue Daniel, he loved it. I think the editing crew were a bit desperate. He said, you know, it's really lost it now. I mean, and here his walls for space was giving a break. Yeah, but, you know, uh, he, he, liked it and he said, look, I mean, let's just get used to it and he recut the whole film because he played the piece of music from the first to the last bar. There was no cutting, no fading out. The film had to be cut to the music, not the other way around. Okay. That is something one can't stress enough. Yeah, and it was a very bold decision at that time. I mean, yeah, yeah. pretty much the first time that yeah. had been done. Very bold and the critics were all over him and, you know, and, uh, yeah. but there, there you are. Yeah. He loved the Schubert trio. I loved the Schubert trio, but it was, of course, out of time. You know, it is, was written uh, 30 years after the action of the film during the Seven Year War. He knew that. But yeah, he, he looked at lots of Haydn and Mozart to, 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 He just didn't. He needed that tension in, rom in romanticism. And he loved the piece of music, and so we really recorded it. Which, Three local musicians in the church very perfect. He needed dance music from the 20s. Yeah, it's very simple. Okay. so simple. So we got lots of LPs from that period, and he selected two or three pieces of music. That was tough because that is, you have to clear it to copyright. Oh, okay. That was more expensive than all the other music. <laughs> really? Okay. Were, were those songs that he would have remembered from his childhood particularly? I suppose so. Yeah. Well, they were very yeah. famous tunes. Yeah. You notice that he has filled up waltzes. He had a waltz and a Lita. He had a you know, waltz in 2001. Yeah. And the uh, waltz for Eyes Wide Shut yeah. was long determined before he started filming. Right. He loved this waltz in a minor key. Yes. <laughs> 
<laughs> ah, great. And of course, it's not just a poet either. And he arranged it. It's really a French musette for us, which was played in a little harmonica on the street. It was folk music. Mm -hmm. That's why it's so simple. Yeah. Perfect. was a very late decision. He made a late decision. For almost a year, he had, instead of this, a, a piano accompaniment of a song, of a lead, by Wagner, in the Greiphaus. Deal, but it was of course not background music, it was an absolute key part of dramatic element in the beginning of the film. And uh, so Mr. Ligeti complained, and right he was at MGM set very, very quickly and paid him $25,000. <laughs> 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 